particularly younger pastors like us because when you were born here we are like upcoming pastors who have uh, someone like uh, Apostle Timmy himself the father of us uh, whom we have learned so much from that when we come to occasion like this it's a time of learning little one that the Bible says we should go to a place of mourning rather than the place of merriment because that is the end of every life. Sister Chinwe went to be with the Lord on the 24th of January and on the 25th I put a call across to him in Abuja. I couldn't even call him because I thought he would not have the nerve to pick the call. So I called Pastor Monday, you called me, Pastor K, he called me and I said no I won't reach out to him. When I called Pastor Monday said it's Reverend Success at Tewe. He said no, Major General Tewe said bring the phone. And as Major General was talking, he took the phone from him. I said, when I, I said, sir, uh, when I, uh, I was shocked because I never thought he could have such strength. That is, I mean, a pointer for us, those of us that is coming. That what the Lord has called us into is not meek and honey at all. There are times we may have to swallow the bitter pill of serving the Lord. I have watched him from the very time he came to uh, Ikalan, or from the very first time he came to Ota, please pardon me, that his countenance has not changed. He has not betrayed the trust that he has in the Lord, either by his, you know, outward appearance or by his confession. Now, to me, that is a great virtue for all of us to covet, because whether we like it or not, either your wife dies before you, I'm talking to ministers now, or you die before your wife. So in either way, let us keep it in mind that Jesus Christ is ever faithful. The Lord that has made our brother to stand still in the midst of this storm, that that same God is also our God, and it will cause us to stand no matter what we face in life. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? I thought we should talk some more. This should encourage us. This should encourage us. Just pass the pen. The first Bible reading, please. Who is it? The first Bible reading. Who is it? I should get ready. 
Our first Bible reading, the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 27. The word of the Lord. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. The Lord bless this word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Of course, a very popular scripture but let us all bear in mind that it's appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment as it were we are not praying for sister chewe no we are not we are celebrating her life as we saw in the testimonies yesterday and pastor monday like they did say we are not crying for her but rather we should cry for ourselves which was actually what jesus christ said to them on the cross of Calvary, that we should weep for ourselves. That on the last day, that we will not be found wanting in the name of Jesus Christ. Yo, if you are believing God for such a glorious name, shout a bigger amen. Praise the Lord. All right, well, I'll call on our brother who did it very well the first time. And I found a woman here aside of my microphone not to kill it her voice came up seriously and i had no um alternative than to hand over the microphone to her i think she will also be helping us we thank the lord for thus far he has led us and you can see the whole thing is going on smoothly it's, we are starting well and will surely end well in the name of jesus christ yes Where's our brother? Brother Dan? Brother. Is that his name? Yes. In page four, you see a hymn, second hymn, Blessed Assurance. Hallelujah. To begin. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. my song. This is my story. This is my song. Raising my Savior under the Lord. This is my song. Story. 
this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Amen. Well, we'll take our seat. May I call, humbly call on the, one of our brothers, uh, Mr. Uh, Pastor David Peters for the second Bible reading. Found in the book of John chapter 11 verse 25. John chapter 11 verse 25. I read. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. If we were at the service of song yesterday, we would have noticed uh, the presence of a very pragmatic and energetic uh, woman who dominated the service of song. Unknown to me, uh, she was uh, standing by my side. And I took her as every other woman until my pastor whispered to me that this is the apostle of yesterday. I had to step aside and immediately handed over my microphone to her. But she not see when she go tell me this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please shall we put our hands together for the apostle as she take part of the program. I'll clap for her, please, otherwise. You know her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Church, Praise the Lord. Are we happy today? I want us to celebrate the master. Celebrate the giver of life. Celebrate the king of kings. The one that does good things. Hallelujah. The journey of life begins with birth and ends with death. So here is a celebration today. Hallelujah. I stand under the grace of my father, Apostle Timo Zere, who has asked me to please stand in and take the tribute and also the biography of our late mother. Hallelujah. So join me please as I take the biography first. Amen. Biography of late Mrs. Yeah, Chinwe no. Margaret Ozeri Ne Moye, born into the family of Raphael Moye of Owa Ophie in the then Ika Local Government Council in 1971. Chinwe started her early education at Okundeye Primary School. She progressed through secondary learning with study business education in Adebisi Onibanjo University in Ago Iwoye in Ogun State. She holds a degree in business education, married to Pastor Tim Ozire, the vision coordinator of Divine Concept Mission International Incorporated. Late Mrs. Chinwe Margaret Ozire focused on building in the king, building in kingdoms instead of secular work. Her teaching, her teaching skills has paid off in molding a focused family and a great and endeared her and greatly endeared her to all the disciples of divine concept missions. Her disposition towards feeling, feeding people and her the great name, Madam Do Good. Hallelujah. Madam Do Good, as popularly known among the disciples of the DCM, for her deep encouragement and at such the disciples would meet, miss her greatly. She was a great pillar to her husband, 
faith in ministry, a dogged faith mover, and an organizer par excellence, a woman of outstanding domestic values, having meant be mentored by her late mother, an indigenous of Ute, Erume, Ute Erume, in a car local government area of Delta State. She is blessed here with three males, three male children. Mr. Kester Ozeri is an engineer. Mr. Kennedy Ifine. Mr. Baruch and two female children. Biela Favor and a big girl. She would be so missed by many as death came calling on Sunday, the 24th day of January, 2020, following a brief illness. Ladies and gentlemen, may God receive our soul in Jesus' name. Let's move of our beloved father to his beloved wife, their wife. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our father is, no, is a man that is not known for many words, but he carries mystery. And he has poured out some here. He said, I bless the day that I met you. I had wished before we met that God blesses me with a wife that would provide basis for my rising and be a mother indeed to my children. I now understand what inspired the long journey across the West Coast through Lagos to Apple, where we met about 30 years ago. I remember I met you morning as you just lost your immediate elder sister. I became the needed comfort and that led to our marriage. As soon as I married you, the great purpose of our being together began to unfold. Your acceptance to pass through tough times with me to beg a purpose, a mission, working tirelessly to prove a point that with God all things are possible. We have won, no doubt. Nobody conquers you. You provided the basis for me to succeed. Many women pull down their husbands, but you walk with me up the way. I salute your, your bravery. Your bravery. You were dependable. You were faithful. You were a righteous wife, full of grace. You were an enigma and an Ephraimite married to a Gadite. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. I miss you. I will miss you again and again because God needed you more. Thank you for resisting the wicked forces for 30 good years. You were a hero. Be assured that I will remain as you have left me till we meet to part no more. Adieu, my only beloved wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought you put your hands together for the Lord. Let's pastor. put our hands together for the Lord Jesus. What a wonderful for Such a wonderful God. tribute. My God. Wise of his beloved wife. He was 10 minutes away to the altar to preach. He decided to conceal the information. He kept it to himself. He whispered to the bishop or the, the pastor that would usher him to the pulpit and say, I just told you this. Keep it to yourself because 
I must do the work of my father. Somebody say, I must do the work of my father. Pastor went up the pulpit, preached that day with the power of God moving everywhere. Little did people know. The man that you were listening to at that moment has just lost his wife 10 years, 10 minutes ago. What a man of God. What a great general. What a commanding commander. East of the Niger and across. We celebrate Pastor Zere. Pastor, God bless you. I also want to take the tribute from Mr. Kester Ozeri, the first son of our beloved sister. From a broken and heavy heart, I say to you, Mom, you are a builder, a faithful laborer in God's vineyard, the dutiful woman. You were a total companion to my father, lovers of lovers who talk on the phone almost 100 times a day. This is a point for all of us. Talk to your husband wherever you are. Hallelujah. You lived and stood for the truth. You are, you are a red gem of inestimable value. The MDG, Madam, the MDG Madam Do Good, always doing good unto everyone she meets. We have played, you have played your part in life while leaving behind indelible marks here and here thereafter. Praise the Lord. Had, had to accept this, but God's will alone stood at the end. Adieu, Madam Dugood, your son, Kester. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Please. The Apostle will uh, continue with the tributes. But let me ask, as husbands and as parents, fading away like the stars of the morning. I think there is a song like that. Yes. Only for us to be remembered. Only remember. Only remember. Only remember by what? So shall we pass from the end and its holy. Only remember by what? At least I try for this one. You really try. Hallelujah. Indeed. Come and put your hands together for Jesus you are Christ. Not walking in the step of your father. <laughs> My Amen. God. Amen. Wonderful. Your wife should Amen. be a great woman then. I think I think the where she did. Fathers or husbands, let me take. I mean, with the husbands first. What will be the tribute of your wife to you after you must have lived? The number of days that God permits you to live on it. And I believe if I should call about five men now whose wives are still living like I am living with my wife, because as the tribute was being read, I said after my wife has lived a life of about a hundred or twenty, depending on, on her age, what will be? my sincere tribute to her. And in, in the same way, what will be my wife's tribute, sincerely, without any ambiguity, without any biased you know, concept, because God sees her heart. What will be her tribute to me? And like I said, if I should call about five men out now, so far, so well, what will you say concerning your wife? Wives, what will you say concerning your husband? Well, Apostle. Right, thank you, you very much. much. Yes. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. I've always said something. You said the good ones, I will praise you so much. That's why I'm in a hurry to say thank you very much. The Apostle said we should not be in a hurry. Uh, that heaven has accepted uh, madam that we should take it easy so that's the message 
he gave to me. And on a serious note, I have said a different fora in the absence of my wife. That if my wife should cheat on me now as a woman, I would not know. You know why? Because she has shown me enough evidence to trust her. She will put her hands to for Jesus Christ. I, I think clap when they jealous me. Okay. Amen. Now listen. I, I think some of these things should be said while we are alive. Because I don't think our sister is hearing the impression the husband has about her. You may not come and say it at a funeral service like this. But take your time out when you are at home with your wife and with your husband. Now that we have life. And tell her those things you think she should hear after gone. If I make sense, let somebody to hear why she's still alive. And I know that our Father in the Lord must have said so much to Sister uh, uh, Chiwe why she's alive. Please, when you get home, tell your wife how much you love her. And I think that might prolong her life some more years. Shall we put her hands for the apostles as she continues with the tribute? I really want to appreciate man of God. You no doubt trying to show us here the life you have been living with your wife. I want to tell you to keep it up. This is what the kingdom demands. You know we have two kingdoms. The kingdom of the world and the kingdom of, of God. Look at, when you look around the whole of this uh, environment, you see how beautiful it is. You now begin to ask, in fact, people believe that these things can only be found in the kingdom of the world. Yes. But look at what, what is happening here today. Can you give Jesus a clap offering? Can you give Jesus a clap offering? This is happening in the kingdom of God. How wish you have knowledge of what enjoyment, what you can enjoy in the kingdom of God. But it's unfortunate. Christians don't know all this. I pray from today you begin to know that the enjoyment you're looking for is in the kingdom of God even much more. It's not perverted. Our father has said it. It's not perverted. And it is like this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know when we're growing up, the gospel they gave to us is about salvation. Only talking about the soul. But I want to tell you, say to yourself, I am a spirit. I have a soul. And I live in the body. That is who you are. The gospel came to tell us about the soul alone. In fact, they even talk how we can escape from all the sinful world and get to and appear in heaven. It's not possible. But our daddy has come to teach us about the gospel of the kingdom. Taking territories taking dominion hallelujah because the bible says the riches of the gentiles shall what they are your own in psalm 7 in psalm 2 verse 7 he said ask of me because you are my own i will give you what the hidden for your inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for what for your possession how many places have you possessed how many territories have you possessed Yet the, the, the kingdom, the gospel of salvation was meant to save the soul, save the body, save the, the spirit, and also do what? Take over territories, deliver economies, deliver government, deliver education. But they are just talking about the soul alone. The gospel of the kingdom that we hear today is here to deliver economies, is here to deliver territories. Is here to deliver kingdoms, families, whether you like my face or not. I am telling you the truth. Take this one home and begin to expand. Stop sitting one place. Go and take territories. Our father has taken territories up to Kemebus, up to the other part, uttermost part of Africa. He has taken over for God. That shall be your duty in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If you like it, put your hands together and celebrate Jesus, who is the reason why we are here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our next tribute 
This one is coming from Ada Ada. Oh my God. You know what it means for an Ada who is not yet married to lose a mother. A mother that should have that day tied it in. A mother that should sit down and see how things are done. A mother that should organize and escort her daughter to her marriage home. The mother is gone. Hallelujah. So this is the tribute from Ada to her beloved mother. My father is up. The general is up. You know when he roars, when the lion roars, what can the birds do? Hallelujah. For my wife. Wife forever. Amen. I've said here that I bless the day that I met you. I had wished before we met that God blesses me with a wife that will provide basis for my rising and be a mother indeed to my children. I now understand what inspired the long journey across the west coast through Lagos to Akbo where we met about 30 years ago. I remember I met you morning as you just lost your immediate elder sister. I became the needed comfort and that led to our marriage. As soon as I married you, the great purpose of our being together began to unfold. You accepted to pass through tough times with me to bet a purpose, working tirelessly to prove a point that with God all things are possible. You have won, nobody conquered you. You provided basis for me to succeed. Many women pulled down their husbands but you walked me up. I salute your bravery. You were dependable, faithful, righteous, full of grace. You were an Ephraimite married to a Gadite. I will miss you because God needed you more. Thank you for resisting the wicked forces for 30 good years. You were a hero. Be assured that I will remain as you have left me till we meet to part no more. Adieu, my only wife your husband I thought we should clap now for this courage and this exemplary leadership quality he just exhibited clap some more if I were you come on thank you sir thank you sir Praise. I want us to give another clap offering to Jesus for this wonderful man of God I told you the kingdom we do things different if it is in the kingdom of the world, the husband cannot move like this. But look at the strength that God has put in him. I think we should clap for Pastor Tim Ozeri. Hallelujah. So let me take the tribute of another son, Kennedy Ifani Ozeri. Hallelujah. He said, you... You, de you defined love for me and taught me to be strong. You meant all to me, even more than this world. My greatest teacher and guardian, you were more than a mother to me as you taught me the greatest lessons. But how can I learn to live without you? The memories we share were golden, were golden. You were a symbol of strength, the strongest I have known. Your love had no boundaries as you showed that as the most beautiful part to all selflessly as you showed as the most beautiful part to all selflessly I cherish every moment I spend with you something I will do forever words cannot define how much I miss you your voice and your smile, Madam, do good. 
you may not be with with me physically but you live forever in the in my heart and now you are in a better place rest in peace till we meet to part no more my your son kennedy ozeri let's put our hands together for mr kennedy hallelujah so i now take the one of the daughter the first daughter tribute to my to the love of my life wow say tears roll down my eyes as i write this down i write this down with a heavy heart they say time heals all wounds but i don't see time healing anything in this case just reminiscing the best memories we had together i miss you you taught me everything i know and you will continue to teach me i believe you are in a better place now but then i look in the mirror and I see you in me. I love you so much, mom. I am not even going to, dip, to dive into how amazing you were and the legacy you left behind. They don't call you, Madam Do Good, for nothing. Moving forward in life, I am going to heal. I am going to move on. When the plant, plantain dies, its saplings takes its course. I will continue to make you proud. Somebody shout hallelujah there. I love you even in death. Cause I am alive today and the lives of, I'm alive today and the life you have touched and empowered showed us showed me you beat dead hallelujah you live in every one of us your children forever your ada biela ozeri hallelujah i thought you should clap for that very solemn moment you hear the children speaking their hearts the family I want to ask that um, yesterday we were constrained by time. We couldn't take more testimonies as we would have. So please want to invite five, three more testimonies. If you are one of such, please you can come and meet us here for your testimony. Thank you, Apostle. Coronation service. This one I just learned it from my father today that is not funeral or memorial service. It is called coronation. A queen is about to enthrone or to be coronated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So if you have something to say about our mother who is lying down there, the chance is open now for you. Thank you. So I take another tribute again from his, um, I mean, the, the from favor, the last child. As the last son. Praise the Lord. A tribute to my dear mother. A mother who always cares for her children. A mother who always provides the needs of her children. A mother who hates when her children does something wrong and always correct them. A mother who trains her children in a good and godly and righteous way. A woman who loves and cares for not only her own biological children, but for every other child that comes across her. A woman who always says, morning saw seed. 
a woman who always says, Morning, so seed. Good afternoon, so seed. Evening, so seed. For you don't know which one will germinate more so. Do not offend anybody because you don't know which one is your helper. Hallelujah. As the woman who always said, in the morning, so seed. In the afternoon, so seed. In the evening, so seed. Praise the Lord. The second one she used to say is, what is what doing is what doing well. Just like she has done now. Hallelujah. I remember when my mother used to cook. And I would be watching her cook and help her sometimes. Gone so soon. I really miss you, mommy. Till we meet again, it's your son, Baruj Ije Ose Ozeri. Thank you, uh, Apostle. Now I want to take the last uh, tribute of our baby, baby Abigail. Praise the Lord. It said a trip to a mother, sister, auntie, and cousin. To a woman who I know for 11 great years in my life. A woman who cares and trained me. She was a righteous and God-fearing woman. She was the most caring and loving mother. I have ever known. She was a woman who always talked about being good and its effect in life. She was most especially not only my mother, she was my mentor, she was my role model, and she was a mother to others those who are not even her biological children from far and near. Hallelujah. He said, rest in peace, ma, much love and hope. Till we meet again, it's your daughter, Abigail, who's a chikwa, a sosa, a zeri. Shall we put our hands together to these wonderful children? Wonderful children that knows themselves so well. Give thanks to God. One and a half minutes, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So my name is Pastor Uche. So I'm the younger brother to Sister Chima that just passed away, 25th of January. So the week that she died, I was troubled in the spirit. I called her phone, she did not pick. So I said, it's not up for her before. It's okay. Let me wait until night. Throughout the night, she didn't call. I told my wife, my wife said that uh, maybe she's busy or what. I said, no, 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 it's not my sister that I knew. So try the next day, I was, I called about seven times. She didn't pick. I said, what will I do? Thank God, and I called the husband. She, the other said that she has malaria typhoid, that she's, she's weak now, she cannot talk, but she will, he will call the son, Kester, to tell her that I'm worried. About two minutes, that was on Saturday. Kester called me. Dude, my phone rang. I looked the name. It's my sister. I took the phone. I picked the call. The way she sang, I said, ah. The way she sang, she was very weak. He said, ah. Later, 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 later. I, she called the phone. On Sunday evening around 10, the husband called me. The moment I see the call, and my phone was ringing, I looked the phone. Is it, my speed over 10 minutes, something has happened. When I say, I, I did the call, say, the wife has passed away. I say, glory be to God. So I want to address even of God is there as a Christian. We know where we are going to. John 11, 25 say, although we die, but we shall live. She's dead, but she's still living. So if you are everybody have cross to carry tomorrow, I, I, will, I will die tomorrow. What I need to tell everybody that is here, the Bible says we should examine, examine ourselves. Enter I call my sister, First thing that she ask me, I hope there's no problem. I have not said sister like her on earth. She's a good woman. So something left 
us. But we don't we don't know the mind of God. So I want to appreciate every God that is here. The Lord will be with you. If you do not live a good life, all of you will not find out. You will not bring time to come and to come and join us to bear our sister. So God will bless all of you that, is, that came different places in the name of Jesus. Welcome each and every one of us on behalf of Apostle Team Uziri, particularly the senior citizens of the kingdom, the bishops that are here present, the senior pastors of various ministries, the traditional rulers, particularly our chief host, the energy of Ota Kingdom here in Ibanke, the Old Boys Association, in no particular order and without neglecting any, I still want to say you are all welcome in the name of Jesus and we appreciate your coming as seriously and we will do everything that we can to make sure that your stay here shall be a blessed one in the name of Jesus Christ. We are almost running off, just about two or three, and we are gone. But permit me to call Mrs. Okafo Benedicta for her testimony. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Okay, I, daddy's wife was like a mother to me. I got married as a young lady and Kester being my brother. I had to go to Ibadan for my MSc and then and I was going through some things, pregnancy that I didn't understand. So I chatted with Kester and Kester immediately linked me up with the mom. And I was surprised how she took it upon herself. Every day in school she would call me, she would chat me, she would tell me what to eat and what not to eat. She would tell me you must eat because my BP was low then. She told me the importance that I have to force myself to eat. She told me how to mix bitter leaf and some soup. That I should not bother cooking, I should go to Yoruba Bukas and eat. They are mala, that is very good for me. Till I put to bed, she was always calling me, even the day I delivered. Even after the delivery that my son became sick, she was the one who called my mom to tell her what to do about the situation. So she really, she had a very great impact in me, my husband and my family. The news of her death came as a shock. I just felt normally i would not stand because i'm the shy type but i felt i hold her this testimony because the impact was very impactful and she indeed she was a mother i say may, she, may her soul continue to rest in peace in jesus name hallelujah over there hallelujah let's wave our hand and say thank you jesus thank you jesus say one more time thank you jesus come on say it loud at least Amen. Amen. Shall we all rise to our feet? Gentle Lord, ever true, changing me and changing you. We have with open heart, oh, let us. I thought we would sing that song or hum it even if we don't know how to sing it. Ancient Lord, ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open heart, O let the ancient world in part. Ladies and gentlemen, the next item on the program is the very crucial one. Even the word that was made flesh. And we beheld him as the only begotten son of God, full of grace and truth. I'm talking about our Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? <laughs> Men and brethren, I have the singular honor to invite... 
charismatic leader, an educationist, one of the greatest mathematicians that ever lived, senior pastor, one of the biggest ministries in the whole world, and my own senior brother. Shall we put our hand up to celebrate Reverend S.O. Ibode as he brings out the world? Uh, we will keep clapping until he comes. You can see him marching majestically. If you clap some more, make it more wonderful. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my brother. Welcome, sir. I appreciate you. Amen, sir. Amen. Amen. Let's shake this place. We are getting too cold. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise. Let everybody make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Reverend Atewe, thank you very much. I don't know why I should be called upon among the suffrage of gurus that we have, ministers of God. Tim has been my bosom brother, friend, and he has impacted my church so many times. We have an acronym, we say, Miss Your Faith. That's what to say when he comes to our church. Say, I'm going to miss your faith today. Apostle, I honor you. You are wonderful. Your exemplary character leads much to desire. Thank you. Shall we bow our heads to pray? Elohim, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Who is like unto you? I cannot find any name to describe you with. What you say is what you do. When you speak a thing, it comes to pass. When you are no, no man disannows. And when you disannow, no man annows. Thank you, Elohim. I'm only a microphone behind you. Use me this morning, or this afternoon rather. Let me not speak of self. Let me decrease while you increase. In Jesus, mighty name I pray. Amen. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I think the testimonies have preached my message. But nevertheless, the world must still be given out. But my worry is that I was introduced more than what I am. That's, my, that's how I don't allow people to introduce me. I walk into the rostrum, preach. Even in my church, you don't introduce me. I learned that from my bishop who do before you start talking, introducing him, he is already on the stage. Because sometimes this introduction will carry you beyond your level. So yesterday somebody asked a question. And the question is very German into my preaching today. He said, Why do good people die? Why do good people die? The MC asked that question more than three times yesterday. I said, How did this man know and spy into my preaching, which I have prepared? Right at Potaco before I came here. Yeah, ki ya sa konya ni do mari. Ihe nko de me. Ga ka Potaco de bian ko de ku keta. Because the message is tied to the mystery of life. Ma ka ni shokun ta ni wo. Ihe o mimi o le mi wa. The mysteries of life. Ihe o mi o mimi ni mento. I'm a farmer's son. Eh onyi onyi gbo ya mum. I'm from this uh, banke. Onyi ale ni kan wo onyi banke kan wo. Ake precisely. Onyi ake ya ko wo. One of the no, clans no, in the banke. Ota is one of the clans also. Ota wo idumo ho e make banke ake ojo ho. So I grew as a farmer's son, the bush boy. Eh u gbo ya be je na di ngo nyu gbo. We sleep in the farm. Enya ra hi gbo. We walk and come back. 
Nyalwa, three days we will not bath. Maybe that's why my color changed a little. I should have been fairer than the apostle. But there's something I discovered which is in line with the scripture. During the time we are staking yams, I tell you, you should know that. My father will ask us to go and cut Aroro. That is steak for the to steak the yam. We will go inside and cut. But I discovered that when I get to inside the place, I will see some, some steak bent like this. I won't cut. But if I cut it, my father will send me back. There are some also, they will stand straight at the time, bend again. Until I see the straight one. So you can see why the good people die. Ah. Is there a road that is straight that we cut? Is there a road that is straight that we cut? And that is also in harmony with the scripture. Let's turn to Psalm 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of the saints. As I didn't harvest the bent stick. So also God does not harvest the wicked. He does not harvest the evil man. He harvests the precious one. He harvests the good one. Because those words are not meaningful to him. They are precious in the sight of the Lord. Is the death of the sin. It's true. Humanly speaking, I expected God to be blocking the wicked. Because for me as a man, if I was I was uh, I was God, I'll be blocking down these evil people away from the earth. That's what I should have done. But men are not God. His decisions are not men's decisions. His ways are not men's ways. His thoughts are not my thoughts. That is why he says, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so is my thought higher. So you can see God acting like I act when I go to cut the stick. Uh, he harvests the weak. He the And because my brother, the apostle, understood this. Somebody phoned me and said, Do you know your brother's wife died? I said, how do I do it now? If I call him, will he answer? Will he not be too busy? For about five minutes, I was just in opinion. Then I said, how do I do it now? If I call him, will he answer? Will he not be too busy? For about five minutes, I was just in opinion. I decided to get the courage to call. I called him and said, no, no. Well, oh, that is fine. He just said, ah, my, my brother, how is it? No, no, no. My brother. He said, it's where? I said, I don't know. It's where? I don't know. In me, he. As this is happening, your wife is lying down dead, and it's where? He began to cancel me. I said, this is team. Nothing but team. My wife was shouting at the background. I cut in the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 1 and 2, Job 
Job said, man that is born of a woman is for a few days. But full of trouble. Full of trouble. Say so he come and fought like a flower and is cut down. I say, okay, let can I get a man? He fled also as a shadow and continued not. But I'm consoled by the attitude of our pastor. Many encomiums have been re have been poured upon our sister Chiwen. I don't even put late. All the time I'll be talking about her. She lives on. But I want to turn you to Ecclesiastes chapter number seven from verse one and two. I read it in a message Bible. Because what I saw there enticed me so much. Said a good name is better than fat bank account. A good name is better than fat bank account. Your debt determines your your debt determines your debt is more than the day of your birth. Okay, I don't think, think the day that Sister Chima was born that this type of multitude gathered. Possibly maybe about 40 or 50 persons. Okay. But I, am, I am really enticed by that word. Can you hear it? It's better than a fat bank account. Better than 10 million in your account, better than a trillion in your account. Good name. Bishop Ladona Osborne, the Osborne's daughter. She says something. She said, did not leave me with bank account. He didn't even leave me with explicit houses. But to me. I thought you were club better than that. He said every person I enter. Effectual doors are open up. All I need to call is Laduna. Osborne. This day, I ask you a question. Can your name open window? Can your name open window? Oh, pray, okay, thank God. Some of us in this planet egg, but we don't have a good name. How can you have a good name with treacheries around you? Even in the church, people taking another person's wife. How can we have a good name when even in the church, pastors are marrying and changing wife as you change rapper? How can we have a good name when we live a life that is not showing the faith we are preaching? 
In the New Living Translation, he puts it this way. Amen. A good Amen. reputation is more valuable than most expensive perfume. He said, every one of us here is, is a hidden story. And you let a hidden story that I have not been told. Every living life, living personality is a hidden story. It's a death, you know who is a gentleman. Because many of us are living as a shadow of ourselves. But at death, our true self comes. There are people who we think they are married with only one wife. But that day, when that eventual day of reckoning comes, okay, okay. when that day of this earthly demise comes, you begin to see many children come up from yeah, There was a death in the bank you are aware. Uh, we were struggling the dead body with Oboni. A this. member of this. Church of God Mission. It was my own former church. And the end, the said, why are we struggling? If he had made his life choice while he was alive, why do we struggle? We packed our bag and baggage and left that. Place. That's why I said that life is a hidden story. Many of us here looking at me, our story may not be different from what I've got painted. But one thing I want to tell you. Can you hear on turning the man? He said they say they are pointed on unto man. I say walking, we put on in here. Wants to die. Walking walk. And after that the judgment. I like what our apostle corrected us that this is a coronation, not funeral. I where she belongs. But let's look at Psalm 89, verse 48. He asks, what man is he that lives? Sons of men, daughters of men, will ever think about this? That naked we came into this world and surely naked will go back. It's only the legacy that you left behind that you'll be remembered for. That was the song, the song we sang yesterday. Only remember, only remember. several occasions if it is revenue put day that died now the living will not give me my best suit because somebody is eyeing it then why are we struggling more than necessary why do we live the life as if we own tomorrow 
tell somebody you don't own tomorrow. Help me tell that person unless you are afraid. You are not old, you know tomorrow. So live a life that will live legacy an impactful life to society. Madam, do good has gone. But lives on. Lives on. Her grace lives on. I've come to that picture. Your money. Your position. Power. Power. Influence. Uh, as a terror, well, you cannot deliver you. Oh, sir, Kabapo, I. And Alexander was a great man, her nursing and conquering empires. To well, you know, by Alexander, okay, here, you can't move away. The problem was Alexander, but because of the exploits that Alexander did, they put, they put acronym Alexander the Great. If I tell Alexander, my cat, oh, you know, we're not going to put you in for a channel. But the moment is a history. And a story, a lesson for we the living to learn. He called the sons while he was still talking. He said, When I die, do me this favor. At my right side of my casket, cut a hole. And bring out my right hand. At the left side also. Cut a hole. Bring out my hand. So that the world will see. That despite my exploits. Despite my wealth. That I brought. I am taking nothing away. And that's what the children did. He said, let my accountants be the one to carry my casket. My daughters, my daughters, and let my accountants be distributing the currency I have as much as they can. You remember when we came in street class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We this was that. my school, my school, school. So it's still my okay. You remember what they told us in chemistry? I remember, sir. That atom is neither created nor destroyed. Yes, I remember. You remember? I remember, sir. We are talking to ourselves. It's my senior. <laughs> Prove the case that you cannot destroy atom, you cannot create it. Oh, can you help Alexander, oh, atom. I'm not going to make one back. Oh, make and take. Yes, I can. Yes, he created the hope. Alexander's hand. Well, at this side and then they carried his casket to the graveside. Philosopher Frederick. Frederick Hegel. What he said. He said, the say the life of Alexander the Great should teach mortals lesson. That we brought nothing into this life. It's evident we are taking nothing away from us. If I say money. Your mind now goes to your bank account. And that is what the forward nine use in the street when they see you say, Thief, thief! Where your money is. The cars we are, we are lost in for, the luxuries we are lost in for, the houses we are actually craving killing because we want to acquire. What are we taking away? 
But friends, I want you to remember this. That the impact you create on this earth. The legacies you leave on this earth. What you contributed to people's life. Is what you be remembered for. Chinwe is like a bishop of blessed memory. Chinwe on oke onye kaipo akwali kai da usa. Not go to a bishop da usa's house without eating. Ye chakiwe e da usa kubere ye diniori. That man. Till tomorrow, we are still in, we are still in mourning for the exit of Damo. That was too soon. E rikwa anya ha oka ho de rikwa atan. King Solomon in Ecclesiastes chapter 2. From verse 4 to 11. Verse 4 to 11. He gave a resume of his lifestyle. How he planted vineyards. Have servants. Have singers. Men and women singers. I was more in tune with verse 18 and 19. He says, verse 18, he said, I hated all my labor. Which I have taken under the sun. Because I should leave it unto the man that shall be after me. Exactly. As you said it, I, I was so good at it. Yes. I, I, I love it. All the struggles I have struggled upon this planet. I will leave it for who is so Verse 19. I shook my head. And who knows whether he shall be a wise man or a fool. Or a fool. Yet shall he have rule over all my labors. Wherein I have labored. And wherein I have showed myself wise under the sun. He said, This is vanity. With myself, I call mystery. As I want to end this message, there's something I want to tell you. A man went to a surgeon somewhere. No, surgeon went to Johnny. Okay, okay. As he was on that journey, he was tired because the sun was hot. And then he decided to, he saw orchards. On a whole, shady. On a whole, I now where we did uh, the of of He went there and sat down. As he sat down, his curiosity caught the tombstones that were littering the whole ground. He went further and yeah. examined each of the tombstones. The man's name. Lived 20 years and died. He went to another one. Lived 10 years and died. He went to another one. Lived 5 years and died. He went to another one. Lived 30 years and died. You never see anybody that lived up to 70 years. He did like this. This is not for me. As he was doing that, the gardener came around. He said, Friend, it's not what you think. 
in this community where you are in whose tombstones you see people littering the whole ground it's not the number of years that the people lived he said in this community we reckon only the year that is productive to man the years you took somebody else's wife when you were on his at home will clean it up from your diary we reckon only the years that your life benefited the society then a the poser I have for every one of us including myself if you die today and they have the privilege of writing on your tombstone how many years will be written on your own how many years will be written against your tombstone? But the 15 impactful years she lived. Can I ask me I looked at the tribute of the husband, the last sentence. Madam, follow me that. Tribute. I want to read. That. That's an tribute, the tribute of the husband. I shook my head. And I read. If you permit me. He said, I will miss you. But God needed you more. Thank you for resisting the wicked forces for 30 good years. You were a hero. Or a heroine. You, are, you be assured that I will remain as you left me. We meet. What a man. And okay. what a woman. Yeah. That was the mixing the chemistry of two persons. Oh my dear. Fifty years. I And the impact she's making has attracted this cream of human beings here. There's pain in my heart that I didn't see her face to face. I was with him so many times, but she's at Abuja. I don't know how in person it is her picture that I knew. Oh, I, I, I know her. <laughs> you are lucky. Yes, sir. I didn't know this mama do good. Fifty years. Some of us here are already 80. Some are 90. Some are 65. Some are 67. What reasonable impact are you making in the society? What legacy have you left? And are you still living? But hear me. Uh, in Ecclesiastes chapter 12. <laughs> if somebody can read that for me, I'll be happy. From verse 13 to 14. Ecclesiastes can read it. Ecclesiastes chapter number 12. 13 and 14. Yeah. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Hear the conclusion of the matter and the conclusion of my sermon also. Fear God and keep his commandment. Fear God and keep his commandment. For this is all is man's all. 
But God will bring everyone into judgment. Including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Amen. He said, Ponder over it. Romi Baine, chapter 12. In verse 1, he said, Remember now your Creator. I and the days when you are still boiling before the evil days will come. When you say we have no pleasure in them, he said, When the grasshopper becomes a burden for a man of valor. Grasshopper, because one day when I read this scripture, I'm, I'm a scientist. I went outside of my laboratory and I killed a grasshopper. I took it to my lab. I put, put it on the beam. I began to weigh from one kg. Not until I reduce it to one to five grams. Uh, the beam balance. A grasshopper of five grams was a, a, a beast of body for a man of valor. He said that is what happened when man goes to his long home. So the grinders come to a home. The grinders come to a halt. And the music become quiet. Only that our brother has turned the dead to him. The scenario where there's no pain. Otherwise, you should have noticed what my friend before I drop my Bible I present my Lord Jesus the author of my life let me tell you leave all you have acquire all you have but if you miss that Jesus you have missed everything He's appointed unto man wants to die. But after that, the judgment of God. Where will you spend your eternity? One of my friends I was ministering to, he told me, Pastor, that's okay. He said, I will so sin. That in anger, God will fling me over. And I will pass the gulf that separates hell and heaven. I told him that's human imagination. Are you here today? It will be time. You have not made Jesus Christ your Lord and personal savior. You have not accepted him as savior this joy we are talking about is not your own but the opportunity is open to you now I stand at the door of your heart if I know and you come and you ask me to come in, I will come in. And in first John 1, he said, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. But if we acknowledge our sin, he is faithful and just to cleanse us of our sin and forgive us of our sin. Are you ready for that now? To be part of this happy family. You need to this Jesus. Let's rise in our faith. As I sing this song, there's no shame about it. You might be in church. I'm not doubting it. 
You have been in church for many years. I'm not doubting it. You might be the foundation member of the church. That's not what I'm talking about. As a single song. You want Jesus to come into your heart. So that you will be like us. So that you will be like him. When, when, when you die, you know where you are going. As I sing this song, take a, a, a stroll to this place. We will, we will pray for you. Just ask. I am without one yeah. place. But the Lord was for me, and the peace is me to the love of God. I can't. I don't take a bow here. If I ask, if I ask. We firmly burnt on the blue wash for me and I can tell you that I'm not here to give you the love of God. I can tell you that I'm not here to give That song was composed by a harlot. At the very moment she met Christ, oh go get never had Jesus. He said, "No, physically I'm not worthy to have answered the call." I say, "Let me tell you, don't you because you beat me to come." Here I am. Can you leave? Friend, I'm when I go. Who will you blame if you miss him? Oh, you can't go come and I hear that now. Is it that you didn't hear San Simon? Is it that an opportunity was not given to you for what I call? Just as I am one plea But down the blow Watch yet for me And up the peace may come to the love of God, I come. Are you coming out? I come. Thank you. Thank you. Just as I am. She has broken the eyes. John, my sister, just I am for me and Look, say, look, fifteen said, even if one soul that one sheep that the master found, there is joy over ninety nine others that need not any. We are not talking about one here now. Four important souls. But they've been alone. You hope so. We do it now. Everyone, I tell you, come and lead these people to Christ. When they are and pray for them. When we are praying, how we are going to do it? Praise the Lord. He said, "I thought we would clap for Jesus." Oh, you know, so harvest of souls. And let's put our hands together for our Father for such a powerful message that is needed at the moment. Those of us that are outside, put your right hand on your chest. Lift up. Lift, put your left hand on your chest, sorry. Lift up your right hand and say after me. Father, I am a sinner. I have come to you today because I have heard your voice. I know I cannot help myself. I believe 
that you sent Jesus Christ your only begotten son to come and die no, for my sins oh, that morning. He came, he was crucified, and was buried, and on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Right now, I ask that the Lord Jesus come into my life, come into my heart, be my Lord and my Savior. Remove my name from the book of hell remove my name from the book of sin sickness and diseases and poverty write my name in the book of life so that when the trumpet shall sound I will be with you in paradise thank you Lord Jesus for your word say as many that comes to you you will not reject them thank you precious father by this confession I am born again I am a child of God glory be to your holy name in Jesus name now lift up your two hands heavenly father we thank you because surely there is joy in heaven over one sinner that repented than a thousand that perish yes, today we receive these ones into your kingdom yes, and we ask for grace to stand yes, grace to serve you yes, grace to abide yes, grace to resist every satanic stronghold yes, let their journey in you be by the blessed holy spirit yes, let every step they take be ordered by you yes, because the steps of the righteous are ordered by god yes, thank you precious redeemer for a day, today shall remain a memorial in their heart. Yes, that on the day that our sister was entered to be with you, they too was accepted into your kingdom. Yes, Accept them, O Lord, and preserve them. Yes, in the name of God the Father, yes, and of the Son, yes, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, and let someone who believes shout a bigger Amen. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let's put a brief view on the order of um, the sitting arrangement for the refreshment of what we call the reception. I will need to take it again and again so that we will uh, be ordered. Amen. Immediately after the interment, which is about to be taken a few minutes' time, of course, only the close families will go there because of space. You know, so we will, while the rest of, of us here will be um, singing praises. All excuse me, the royal fathers, all the bishops, all the general overseers, Above 55, praise God, I'm above 55, amen. <laughs> Let me say it again. All the Jews above 55, all professors, officials from left, that is a uh, military officials from left and corner, and uh, they are equals or the equivalent in other um, military cadre. All senior lecturers, and heads of department, all captains of industry and the like. And one man was just singled out, Dr. Okubo. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Please, they are the people that are permitted. Asha, please wave your hand there, just wave your hand. Look at where she is. These men and this group of people will take through this place and they will have their refreshment there. Every one of us will be seated where we are. Because as you can see, there's no high table. Everywhere you are, that's a high table. So you will be seated on your high table and you will be served and entertained. Let me take the roll call again. I will take it again thereafter. All royal fathers, all bishops, all geos, general overseers, 
of uh, ministries above 55, or professors, officials from Lieutenant Cornell, and their equivalent, all senior lecturers and heads of department, captains of industries, and all, and Dr. Okubo will please let me come out so that you will not see me. God keep me. Um, the family of our brother, Apostle Tim Uzere, to come forward. And I am going to introduce one of the oldest bishops in the land of Ika, a man of a humble disposition, if disposition was to be used to measure righteousness. I think he is overqualified. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we stand to our feet, every one of us, as we invite the family of Apostle Tim Uzere to come forward and Bishop A.O. Iwerebon will please. Man of God. Yes. She said people from 50 years and yeah, above. The Bible, Bible says, see, yes, that's somebody who has worked so hard. Mm. You sit with kings. I am not up to that, but I think uh, I qualify. Uh, as for you, anything you like, I qualify. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anything you say, I have. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put our hands together for our brother as he comes forward. Come forward. Come forward. Hmm. Elder Pogwese. Good man indeed. The Lord bless you. I know you will be here. Thank you, sir. Bishop. Stand on our feet. We want to pray for the family of our beloved brother, Apostle T. I want to make this request. You pray from your heart, not just ceremonial prayer. What do we want the future of our beloved brother after today to be? What will you want the future? of these children that our beloved sister had left behind to be. As you pray with a touching heart, I know there is a God that is ready to hear us. That our brother. One of the children is not here. Lucy, Fable, Bella. So even in her absence, she is represented here. I want us to lift up our voice and commit this family to God. Ask God that after now, after today, there is already a vacuum created. The Spirit of God will take full charge. And yet tomorrow, will carry a brighter light. Open your mouth and talk to God. There is nothing God cannot do. He knows what to do. We are men, we are women. He will go beyond and perfect everything about them. Mighty Jehovah, you know more than what. Before it happened, you were aware. And after now, what tomorrow we do, you are aware. We are asking your father, your sons, Pastor Tim Zere, and these beloved children, and the one who is not here, favor. We are presenting them before you, asking that through the precious blood of Jesus, they will remain secure under your pavilion. In the day, in the night, you will be a source of comfort to them. You will be what our sister, the role she ought to have been. You will play that role. You will send your angel to guide them. Let us ask God to circle them with the fire of his glory. 
according to his promise. In Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5, God said he will create a wall of fire around his own, and he will be the glory in the midst. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, when in a journey, when they are at home, when they have gone out for ministry work, he will be the glory that will keep them and preserve them. By this prayer, we are creating a wall of fire as a church around this family. In the daytime, the wall of fire remains. In the night, the wall of fire remains. And God will be the glory to preserve you. Preserve you, our brother, Pastor Tim, and your children, and the one that is not here. Lord Jehovah, your glory covers them. Your presence preserves them. The journey continues. Let us pray that the Lord will take them to higher heights. After now, we have heard much about their late mother and the late wife. God will give these ones higher, better than their late mother. He will give them a louder voice. He will give them the spirit to lead. They will accept in all that God will assign them to do. They will accept. Ask God for the spirit of excellence upon this student, upon our brother. They will do better than now what they have been. The records will have, they are going to perfect. It's going to be excellent. More glory, more of his presence, and God will give you know, this children, Father, they will do what you have designed them to be in life. That their mother has left will not stop them. Anything that wants to stop them, as a family, as a church, we decree that those stoppers may stop. Yeah. We decree that every obstacle the enemy would have loved to create be consumed by fire. Yeah. Mighty Jehovah, you are able to keep yes. that which is committed into your hand. Yes. Yes. Until that day, that glorious day, the journey continues. Yeah. We'll cover you with the praise of Lord of Jesus. Yeah. The unity that exists in a family of the people of God will remain. Amen. The enemy cannot truncate it. The enemy cannot do anything otherwise. The love will become stronger. Amen. The love you have for one another will become stronger. Amen. The love you have for God will become stronger. Amen. The love you have for the ministry will become stronger. Amen. The affection for the kingdom race will become stronger Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we create this war, no sickness will near any of you. Amen. No arrow from any angle from the pit of hell will touch any of you. When you sleep, you sleep under the canopy of the glory of God. When you are in a journey, angels will be your, your escort. They will clear the way. Whatever hour, the journey you take in the morning shall be same. The one you go in the afternoon or in the night shall be same. We will not hear any evil story in the name of Jesus. Powerful God. By this prayer, we declare this family fruitful family. Yes, Lord. You will do more exploit for the Lord. Yes, Lord. We shall hear more about you. Yes, and after you have done the will of God, you will not miss the kingdom. Amen. You will not miss your crown. Yes. The presence of God will keep you. Yes, after you have labored in the vineyard, as you drop your cross, you take the crown. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. in the name of God the Son, Amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let the church start the bigger. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can retire. Please, I want to make a request. And this request will be very good. I've said it to them that I would like to play coronation music for my wife. And I have communed with my children, not those that are not here. And we agree that the coronation music shall be saddled, the priest by handles. You will just bear with me briefly. Before we play that music, there are four disciples that have been trained in my hand under this ministry. And my wife that is here has been a former disciple of the Divine Concept Mission. 
we have a culture, yes, and the culture is always to edify her, to send her home. Yes. So I like to invite Pastor Femi Oyewale and Mrs. Oyewale and Dan Jibril. I hope you are there. Pastor and Mrs. Femi. And Mrs. Pastor Salome. Pastor Femi is Salome. from Odo State. Dan Jibril is from Nasarawa State. Salome is from Plateau State. Wow. And Henrietta is from Delta. Wow. I'd like them to hold the microphone for five, five minutes and give us the punk come, that will escort my wife. Come, come here. And so i like them to be here. Please bear with me. It is brief, one after another. I will coordinate it myself. Femi, over to you. God came from Tema and Glen Manpara. Shini Koli la onde Shini Kabo Minan Soli Brando Hina Kaida. Baro Mini Intelejini Sekro Minan Kako Radina Taika de Shini Taya. Shall we all rise now? Polia, Andilia, Minande, Legend. In the queue, I saw a smile, and then we will sing together with them. You will say it. Ah, Elohim. Sing it now. Ah, Yeah. 
Dimension, a ladder, angels ascending and descending. Ah. Salih Shalom 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 Zion Shalom 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 Zion Shalom Hey Shalom Shalom Zion Shalom Hey Shalom Shalom Zion Shalom Shalom Man! 
your mercy and that is why I want to grow in the spirit now I want to grow in the spirit 
kako vela rodi mero zo yes dina la krish zo fuzaria medro zika da tuzu dina fatish the church will be encouraged nyano zo logwe mero zo ya nyano zo na bruna zo ne na yozo devia nyo zo ufa gundu zina de adusha gya Even the cloud of weaknesses that I'm seeing, what are they saying? Nia suvai, jia suvai de ala sukush. Nia no zana yoso, vala resuadi yedi no zuvai. That those that are alive should be prepared. The cloud of weaknesses, they are all wishing that we do better, even than ah, she sad. And I saw ya osu suzu no saw ya do to suda. Yes, but it's more sacrificed for our 
angels that are fierce in nature, that will deal with catches, that want to oppose you. Hear it. Marine kingdoms are in trouble. Yes, they're in trouble already. <laughs> in the deep there's shop, there's a shake because of these new levels. You have songs that will speak to the enemy's advocates, the rest are sure. They shall be no lost. This is the last. There shall be no loss. Says the spirit of grace. For bearing with us and uh, investing your time to forge back our happiness. Praise the Lord. So I'd like to call on the musical man to play the coronation music for us. And as that is done, please, we need space because we are moving to the final resting place. Please, strictly, very, very close family members. Then all the disciples on divine concept mission should move and possess the south gate preparatory to the internment. And please, as soon as we move out of this place, reception starts immediately. And all the categories of people mentioned should move into their places of expectation. God bless you. This doubles and serves as a vote of thanks. May the Lord bless you for identifying with me in this very moment. And God shall wipe away your tears and strengthen you in Jesus' name. Please, there is enough food and drink for you. Just sit where you are in order not to confuse those who are serving. I thank you and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. For Jesus, clean up to give her the last respect as one of the most senior bishops in the land. The man who actually was sent by Archbishop Margaret Idahosa to consent praise. Kingdom Heritage International Assembly. I'm talking about Bishop Udume. Will be at the graveside for the interment. And you heard the apostle say that very close family tie. of space and immediately the refreshments will be served there's enough food and uh, I declare that everything that we served here is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ the water is blessed the food is blessed the servers are blessed Fathers, all Jews, about 55, all professors, officials from Lieutenant Cornell and equivalent, all senior lecturers, head of departments, captains of industry, and the Kokubo will go this way. Shall we all rise, please? All Jews. 55 of professors, officials, head of departments, captains of industry, and the Tokubo will go this way. Go for the poor, the final respect. She departs. I want to say a very big thank you to our royal fathers, the Odoji of Ota. I can see them in their royal paraphernalia. All the bishops to please move the other side. The senior masters to move the other side. Captains of industries. All Jews above 55, please move to the other side. And as much as possible, let's respect ourselves. If you are not asked to go there, don't go there.
little Cornel and above to please come this way. Every other person, please be seated. There's enough to be served. There's enough to eat and to drink. Once again, on behalf of Apostle Tino Zere and family, we say thank you for coming. Please be seated. Every table will be served. On behalf of Divine Concept, Divine Concept, non but in Danke and So, what we, the Divine Concept, Thank you. 
That's okay. Yeah? No, 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 <laughs> Your children. Mm, yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 Come this way, come this way, my dear. Chance, Chance. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. This way, yeah, it's okay, like. that place where you go? No, 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 down. Down, down. Just hold it. Lift your hand. Down, down. Down, down. Down here. Wait, don't see that. That thing is blocking. That thing is blocking. It's blocking. It's blocking. It's blocking. It's blocking. It's blocking. It's blocking. Don't match them. 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 Don't match the lock. I said, up, leave, leave, leave. I Push us more. From? Yes, I'm all right. All right. It's okay. 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 You guys stay there? Yes. 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 My friend, don't disturb me. Look for a place and stay.
Last month. Last month. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because we have spent much time, I'm going to cut it. For anything, let me let us know that our mother who is lying right inside there, with all that we hear about her, I have one thing. I would have been to feed But I'm happy that I hear all that we say about it. And I have no doubt that she's already with the Lord Jesus Christ. We are doing all the necessary formalities. She is already resting in the ocean. And so we honor God and we thank God for the life. This is the preacher, this one of the greatest miracles that has happened today. I don't know how. God is going to help us. But if there is any person that will do a follow-up on the four people that came out, because that's what I have been praying before I came to this program, that we are not just coming here to lay her to rest, but lay our coming here to lay her to rest, give back to people that are going to be ushered into the kingdom. I believe that they could be more than that for you. Yes. Because when you sow a seed like that, there are people who may not come out for sure. But they have given their life. That is the greatest miracle that has happened to me for me who have come to this occasion. To see those four people walk out to say they are coming out to receive Christ. And for our mother, for every child of God, Martin Luther of Blessed Lord, interpreted John 3:16 this way. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believed it should not perish from heart ever. He said that face of the scripture is carrying four great things. Number one, a great gift to mankind. Number two, a great deliverance. But before a great deliverance, a great appeal, whosoever, whosoever will get it. Then the number three, a great deliverance. And number four, a great deliverance. Gives you deliverance. And as you respond to that appeal, whosoever will, and you are delivered. And that ushered you into receiving the great deliverance that God has already given. And that is what every human being is running after in this <coughs> Jim Reed said, a good singer, it's not our work, our work. That's a bit hard. There's no person that gets to heaven and you ask him to come back and end. No God. Because that place is far from Let's go. Father, we are grateful to you. That final of all finals, here we are. 
and one day every one of us will go like this. All we ask you is that we should fulfill our purpose. We should fulfill your will. We should fulfill the reason why you sent us into this world. Yes, there is somebody who was asking God, why must he die at 60? Because we were preparing for his 60 years birthday. That 1998. March, a great afternoon. And September was going to be his 60 years birthday. And it was called that And somebody took it upon himself to go to God and say, why? And the person was told, like, I just said, you know, you can see something. You need to double. 60 plus 60 is one to one. Then God told the person, He said, the work He did for 60 years, somebody who had lasted for 120 years, he find it difficult to accomplish. I'm saying that 60 years was too small for me. No, for him to leave. But God told the person, my servant will live for you. Speak. How? Is that not the same age with Moses? Yes. 120 years. His eyes was moved. And he was still very young. If Moses announced it, he said, as of today, I'm 120 years old. Mm -hmm. Go and search the scripture. But that was not the very day. So we say our sister lived for 50 years. Trust you, we talk about that people and say that she might have lived far bigger than 50 years. So it is not how long I want to accomplish. Lord, we thank you. We worship This family will serve you far greater than our man in the name of Jesus. That is my prayer. Grace upon grace upon grace upon grace upon this family. The family of Tia. Grace upon You will lead upon them. Grace in the morning. Grace in the afternoon. Grace in the evening. Grace at all seasons. Grace at all times. You will pour on them. Your grace will be sufficient for them. And your grace will open doors of our doors. Your grace will cause every one of them to fulfill their vision and their dream and their purpose of coming into this world.
blessed be the name of you. Please, for as much as it has pleased the Almighty God of His great mercy to take unto Himself the soul of our dear sister, mother, Jean, Margaret, Desire. We therefore commit her body to the ground. You may be sure. Ex. Ex. To ex. To ask. Dust. To dust. resurrection though our Lord Jesus Christ through our Lord Jesus Christ who shall change the body of our humiliation that it may be like unto the body of his glory according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself and Jesus and the family happy happy Happy, happy, oh, happy, happy, oh, when Jesus in the family, happy, happy, oh, happy, happy, oh, join me sing this song. Happy, oh, when Jesus in the family, happy, happy, oh, all that we have heard said by Popo is because Jesus was the center of the family. He was the ruler of the family. Now, finally, and I heard a voice from heaven saying, from Revelation 14 13, unto me, right. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yet, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from the angels. 7, 16 to 17. They shall hunger no more. Neither test any more. Neither shall the sun light on them. Nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them. 
and shall lead them unto living fountains of water. And God shall wipe the way all tears. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you for the life that your daughter gave. For the life that this mother gave. For the legacy you should make. We honor you. We honor you that we who are living also might have learned a lesson today. To learn, Lord our God, to count you teaching us, our King and our Maker, to number our day. We give you praise and we give you glory. To you be the praise, to you be the glory. Great things you have done. In the name of God the Father. Amen. God is Amen. 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 Amen.